You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Wagwan! Yo! Ah. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. I knew yes, everyone I. was going to do that fake wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> That's what everyone does when they speak to a Jamaican. That's yes. the only thing you know, right? <laughs> boom, boom. Wagwan <laughs> <laughs> and boom, boom. Now, I just want to clarify that they asked for uh, Mr. Vegas. They were like, do you guys want to have Mr. Vegas on the show? I said, I do, because I've always been a big fan of Mr. Vegas. Right. Very consistent. I heard I got some few no's. You did at first. You did at first. It I wasn't for me. Reggae, but so. it wasn't because of, of, of your stuff. It was because of... um. Because he had a, a, a two hours interview right before me. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. a, young man named, a young man named Dick Gregory. You heard of him before, right? <laughs> no, no, I, I must say. No. I can't lie on that. Oh, okay. But he looked like you got a lot of knowledge, so it's good. Yes, sir. You need to, if yes. you get a chance, Google Dick Gregory, man. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> definitely. Now, what definitely. the hell is going on, Mr. Vegas? We're just here promoting a new record. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this station, I think I have a lot of you know success with the station. Heads High when, plays all the time. Broke it, broke it down. I think broke it down. You know, was no, Heads High bigger than Broke it down. I think broke it down played a lot yeah, on the down, station. I saw the numbers, you. man. Way yeah, man. I ain't know that's all you. Come on, man. Chill, la 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 la. Boom, boom, chill. I didn't know that was all you. I didn't know that was all you. You see, Charlemagne just try to know what he wants to know. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I know the song. I just don't know the. But and I know your name. I just didn't put the two together. I think I got a good, a good, good run a on the station. Great track record. Great, great, great yeah, track record. Absolutely. You yeah, hear them records every night in the club. Yep. Literally. Yes, I. As a matter of fact, remember when we had we had a trip to Jamaica, the Breakfast Club flyaway, and all, every contest at the resort was to break it down. Break it, break, 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 break it down. Every contest, I was like, okay. Break it down. He has a break it down. songs. Break it down. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get Do you ever get sick of your own songs? I hardly listen to like. You know, my songs, because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a fan of, like, all type of music. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, now I'm listening to, like, some pop records. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, I try to, like, get inspiration from different records. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, don't let them say you crossed over now. There are songs that, you know, but, you know, you have to listen to different genre of music. Mm -hmm. Right. Worse now, you know, when it's so hard to get on radio. Because dance song music is harder to get on radio now than before. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. N unless it's Nicki Minaj or, or Justin Bieber or... Our, 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 our work like Rihanna, our work like Rihanna. Yeah. you know. But if we do a dance or record, we have to work it from the base till it get to you guys. Right, you that's, see what I'm saying? that's interesting though because you had so many successful dance hall records. Right. you would think that they would look for the future successful dance hall records. Well, they're not. They're, they're not even call, calling um the records that are dance hall now dance hall. They're trying to call it like tropical house and those things. I never tropical heard house, that. right? Tropical house. I never right. heard no tropical house. <laughs> Trust me, that's what they call the Justin Bieber and the Rihanna record. Mm -hmm. really? um, Rolling Stone magazine actually called the Rihanna record Tropical House. And that's a dancehall record. Yeah, it's a dancehall. I just call it fake reggae. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rihanna. No, no, no. You got to give it to Rihanna. She's yeah, always yeah, been she's from the island. Yeah. You know, she's doing some dancehall and some reggae. Yeah. She did No, 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 you know, from Don Penn and those records. Mm -hmm. And Panda you know? Replay. Yeah, man. She's she, That was her breakthrough record. Yeah, she's, Panda she's Replay. Yeah, she's absolutely. Yeah, man. So no, she, she, she's not fake. Yeah, when she, it comes she, to she, she 100. I think other people that take a one, one time and 10 years after they do another one is kind of... If you got to make a Do fake accent, you're fake. That was you. That's you. He's from South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> now, head time. Now, explain to the people, if, like especially like Charlemagne, that don't know about head time, because a lot of people are saying... I know that was, record. Head you know, you know what it's about? <laughs> he doesn't know what it's about. He doesn't know what it's about. It's about keeping your goddamn head high. No, it's about yes, it. yes, yes, exactly. It's That's it's what it is. It's an anti-oral sex song that a guy It's It's, it's guy basically who, saying, don't stoop low to achieve. You see what I'm saying? Hold your head high. You don't have to be going around doing whatever you're doing, too. So it's too. nothing about sex ahead and then your head, keep your head high. Don't, just don't do sex for money. You don't got to suck to get on. Right. Can I sit on, on, on the thing? No, yeah. you cannot really. Not really, right. but you know, we'll bleed. But you can, okay. Right. That's what he's saying, basically. <laughs> that's a great message. Yes. <laughs> yes. But, you know, it's dance all record, you know, so you have to do it a certain way where people can... You know, dance to it mm -hmm. because if you mm -hmm. go do like a message like that, and it's like, oh, oh, I don't, people don't want to hear that. Right. So you wanted the biggest artist from? No, no, no. B, I region, think right? B, no, Beanie Man, Sean Beanie Paul. Beanie Man, Sean Paul. Of course, Paul. you know, but I Sean think Sean Paul is from the Bronx. He really Puerto Rican. <laughs> He's a Puerto Rican. No, Dred. I, 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 I basically when I just started my career, I used to. I was the one who did um the first record that Sean Paul had on the radio with Sean Paul, Hot Girl Today. Mm -hmm. Hot. You know, chill, la, 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 boom, boom. That was a record that. That it let you guys know about it. You retired? You retired? No. no I can't retire from music. At one time and then you came no, back. one time I was just, you know, going through shit and I just was like, you know, I can't bother because the industry just is just 
it's not what it used to be when I got into the industry. You know, it's too much ego and fake people around you know, in the music industry. For New, for New York now, well, for coming out overseas in America now, because at one time it's like you had an outlet, whether it was VP Records. It seems like reggae music was bigger. Now it's not as big as it was. The, the competition is more now. People have the internet where they can get, you know, whatever they want. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? People's attention span is different now, so you have to be doing different stuff. You have to find ways, you have to create controversy like Charlemagne. You know, he's the biggest thing on, on the internet because people look for it because he create controversy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, I see him tying up um, my little artist in here. Um, what's his name? Um, um, Cranium. Oh, and Cranium. You know? Yeah, y'all look really, y'all related? No, oh. <laughs> we, might, we might be, might be, never might can be. tell, we're Jamaicans, <laughs> you know, Jamaican's my father, you know, had a lot of kids, mm. so <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now, the new, song, good dude, the yeah, new song is Identify My Love. Identify My Love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a record that people can sing along to and dance to, because that's what dance all is about. Right. You see what I'm saying? Records, that when you hear it in a club like Head's Eye and Zim Zim and those records, you can dance, you know, and that's what I try to bring to the people. Mm -hmm. And love records as well. Now, remember, you did have some controversy in your own life. Do you look forward to getting married again one day, perhaps? I, I was never married. Oh, but you were with somebody. She was living with you. Right. So what she, had controversial she had about sex that? with somebody else in the house. No, man. Break her down. <laughs> break her down. No, no, no. She was, she was breaking it down in the house with and somebody you were, else. But you were very vocal about it. You know, right, because, you know, you know, yeah, it was in my house and my daughter was in the presence Lord, of, no, of, Lord, of, of them doing their Lord, thing. But that's like four years ago. I'm way over that. I haven't seen my daughter since, but I'm working on that because, you know, America is a different place. Mm -hmm. If it was Jamaica, I just go to the house where she's at now and pick my daughter up and they would have to come after me. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I wouldn't go to prison. Maybe it would be some court battle or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But now in America, you try to. You know, you go to prison. Kidnapping. Right. Kidnapping straight. You see and what I'm saying? And then people will say, oh, he's a deadbeat dad, but it's really you trying to see your daughter, but she's not alive. Right, right. I'm still working on it. I spent a lot of money in the courts trying to see my daughter. But, you know, I'm going to see her. Who was the guy? Like, he's somebody y'all knew? You knew no, 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 no. No. No artist or nothing like you that. You ain't cut him? No machete action? Nothing? <laughs> Maybe if he was in Jamaica. Gotcha. You, you, got, your, oh, you got your jaw wired before. He had a what, broken jawbone. Yeah, some guy, some guy used a piece of iron to break my jawbone. A crowbar. A crowbar. A, a crowbar. What did you do to him? Nothing. Um, he said you stole some it, masters. No, no, he's tried to get some tape from me that I had, and I tried to. I just came from jail because I spent two days in jail, and I was like, this is not the place for me, and um, you know, so I tried to walk away, and he, bam, <gasps> you know, so my jaw was broken, and then it wired, and I got my break as soon as the wire wires mm -hmm. came out. I did heads eye and. All them reggae records. Nike here, she's a hoe, them records. She's a hoe. Yes, I am. Did you think that after you found your woman getting with another dude? <laughs> was that the inspiration it's be a she's a hoe No, that was, oh, okay. yeah, that was before. That was before. That was before. When you that perform, would you probably perform with more passion now. You think? <laughs> I don't even think about it. Listen, man, people are going to be people, man. If you, if you try to study people, you're going to go crazy, brethren. I ain't going to lie. I think I, it'd be hard for me to deal with a woman after that. Like, the real thing is serious. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to do. You keep you, moving. Just you can't, you can't live with them. You can't live without them. It, yeah, is like. it, so do you look forward to perhaps getting married one day or being in a Of course. Of course. No one deserves um, you to live in that dark place or you to live unhappy for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you find a girl and, you know, you might end up with a better girl. How long it took you to get out that dark space? Mm, maybe two, three years. Right. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes I still go back there, but, you know, it's, it's, it's the human being inside of you. Now, how was it with, you know, the same time you came up, Beanie Man was coming up and Sean Paul Kingston was so much music. Was it a lot of competition then? That was, used to drive the music, the competition. You know, the the, the, the Ninja Man and the Shabba Rankin, the Buju Bantan and the Mad Cobra. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Vibes Cobra. Carter, the Movado was the last big beef that we had. You know, so that used to drive the music and, and good music, you know, because when you have competition, you put out your best. But people are getting killed when, 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 when Jamaicans have beef, like they pe get hurt. No, no, I, I think that's, uh, 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 people getting killed without the music, without beef, without anything, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People use, you know, these type of things to say, oh, that's the reason why they did something to someone. You're just mm -hmm. evil, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? And people, people, people may have beef with someone and then they use this opportunity to say that's what really cause them to do whatever they're doing, you know? You think music, music can influence you to do some negative stuff, though? I of mean, course. you're already I've, an evil person, I've, but it can push you a little yes, bit. Yes, but, but it's whatever you have in you. It doesn't make me yeah. do that shit. You know, I don't listen to music and go pick up a gun. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because I know if I pick up a gun and shoot someone, I'm going to go to prison. Right. You see what I'm saying? Well, your music is actually very uh, fun and inspiring. I, I work out to a, a lot of your music. Rock It Down is a good record song. Or a hot... Hot... A, oh, hot... hot Oh, the clean version. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Damn, I know all Vegas songs, then. You definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you see, I've, I've, I've had a, that's why I said I've, I've had a few records on the station. But, you know, New York, 
You know, you get some records and they break in New York and then you try to go to other markets and it, it, it doesn't react in other markets mm -hmm. because yeah. we don't get the support in other markets and we don't have the big labels around us. Except for Sean Paul, who had a big Atlantic behind him yeah. when he had those records, Give Me The Light and those records. And Shaggy, but they, Shaggy. they were other, and Shaggy, Shaggy had, 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 mm -hmm. had majors behind him too. Mm -hmm. But there are other artists in Jamaica who are very talented, right. who have good records, but we don't get that support on the international level. They used to tell me that there's no West Indian people outside of New York. They are. Miami is a big in, West in Indian market. Big, big market. You know what I'm saying? What in Florida. Mm -hmm. Miami and New York. Mm -hmm. They have to stop in Florida before they get here. Right. You know, so a lot of people, but you know, it's just the support. We don't get the support nationwide. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, and that's why I said when there's a reggae record from a big pop artist, it goes national. So why can't a reggae record from Jamaica go national? Mm -hmm. Rude by, what his name is, Magic? That's yeah. a straight reggae record. Mm -hmm. That went, you know, top of the billboard. Why can't a reggae record from Jamaica go national? Mm -hmm. You see know what I'm saying? So we have a fight. I used to know this one girl, she used to love to dance to your Break It Down song in the club, and I used to like to watch it. Break It Down. We had sex. break it, don't say whatever, please. We had sex, she ain't had none of them moves. None. <laughs> and then I found out she had a sister on her ovary, so she used to be flinching. I'm okay, like, damn, you used right. to be dancing all, all right. sexy in the club. Hear about you know, that. Um, you, know, <laughs> you know, you know, pull up. How did he go from Ooh, this the character of being the the great man with the with the wise man to I don't know what happened. <laughs> talking about sis in the woman he's, womb? He's a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> just switched, you know. <laughs> he just was like in here. Also, also, you know, get gaining knowledge, you know, you know, you know, you know, to, to run for mayor of New York, mm -hmm. and now he just switched. <laughs> it's balance. It's explain, balance. Explain to people, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj's ex Safari. You know, a lot of people made fun of him. He put a, a video out when he was in high school and he was dancing like so, a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a stripper. Come on. They call it the go go in Jamaica. Go go. Yeah. go, go. That's what he blamed it on, being Jamaican. He blamed it on but Jamaican you know, culture. Did you see that Jamaican. A lot as a kid? No, 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 no. No, oh, I no, no, no dread. No. <laughs> no. 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 Jamaica's a rough place, you know. Mm. Jamaica's a really rough place, you know. You know, um, I think now because the world is changing, you know, Jamaicans are more open up to what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, in the world. But, you know, when he was talking about he couldn't do that in Jamaica and, and, and there wouldn't be a problem. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Jamaica is a really rough place. We're from Af the, Af the deepest part of Africa. Do you feel like the other artists, other reggae artists in Jamaica have been really supportive of you as far? Because I know it is super competitive and I know sometimes beef just comes out of nowhere. You don't know what's going on. But do you feel like... Listen to me, back in the that? days, it used to be different. You see what I'm saying? We used to like, used to have records with like, as, mm -hmm. as I said before, myself and Sean Paul. You know, artists used to used to like work together. Artists in the studio together. We writing together. We vibing together. A producer like Steely who build, who break Shabarankin was making the beat and like seven artists is in, this, is in the studio, you know, helping to make the beat. Mm -hmm. But now it's like a lot of ego, you know. You know, everyone has their big ego. It you feels know? like you got to take sides sometimes too. Sometimes you just you just gotta be yourself too, and just and just stay away from some of these people because it's not everyone does this music for for the love of the music. Mm -hmm. Some people do this music because they can get some more pum pum, they can get some more money, they can show off on you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So is there is there still like a rep thing, like a king of Jamaica, king of dancehall thing? Everyone is a king, man. Everyone that you know does this music and 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 promote it to the world is a king. There's no one king. You know, back in the days there used to be just like real champions, like Yellow Man. And you Yellow know, man. and yeah. those great artists, they used to be like kings because they would DJ on sound system all night. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't make a little autotune record now and tell me that you're the king right. because you can't even DJ back that live. You see know what I'm saying? Did you and Beanie Man ever have problems? Because I mean, he called himself the king of the dance hall and you did the dance hall so hard. Did y'all ever have problems? Beanie that? Man is a king. Beanie Man has been around this music since he was like a kid, like, yeah, a, like a young kid. He inspired you a lot. Of course. Beanie Man, Beanie man is one of the greatest dance hall performers you could ever you know, you know, imagine in the history, greater than Shabba Rankin, greater than any one of them. He's one of the greatest dancer performer. Now, I've seen people, you know, rap around buildings to go see Beanie Man perform. He picks me up from Kingston when I come down. He's, he's and he's real cool. Yeah. He's real cool. real cool. He's real cool. And he doesn't carry, you know, you and him have, an, have a problem now. The problem is done. And five minutes time, you and him is good again. Yeah, man. Right. That's my guy. Yeah, All we right. know. You always say that. I'm Beanie Man. I love Beanie Man. It's interesting, because you've been around for a long time, but you look young as a mother. I'm trying to stay young, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to stay young. I try to like, you know, work out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying you can't be like singing those sexy records and looking like a big old man with big belly. <laughs> so I'm saying I'm going to go and stay that. singing Brock It Down with a big stomach in front of me. Like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, then girls ain't going to buy that. I'm trying so to think if I know any uh, large plus size male dance hall. <laughs> not really, no. no now that no. I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really are. No, it's not, right. not too many. <laughs> well, tell them about the new project again. Well, this one is you waiting, man. Identify My Love. It's good, man. It's good. I gained some knowledge here. 
You see what I'm saying? You know, just looking through the window, looking at Charlemagne, learning. Um, <laughs> you know, so, you know, I need to find my love is a new record. You know, I think you're going to love this one. I think it's going to be a big record on the station. You know, so we bring it here early. Right. You know, trying to get get it popping like the Rihanna record and the Justin Bieber record. <laughs> <laughs> it's less important. Let them know that the dance hall is from Jamaica. It's not from, you know, where people think it's at right now. I'm surprised those guys don't reach out to y'all to do the real collaborations. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Actually, I don't have a, a, an answer for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, but I did. I'm standing on the sun with, with Beyonce, the remix, the dance hall remix mm -hmm. with Beyonce, standing on the sun. And that was like really playing a lot. And then she just dropped a new album with totally all new songs. So Anti. kind of burst my my bubble a little bit right here. No, that was Beyonce. Oh, yes, I asked Beyonce. No, no, that was Beyonce. Yeah, yeah man. But, but we, you know, we working. Well, we appreciate you for joining us and thank you for waiting again. No, man, it's good, man. It's good. Yeah. I was actually late. I'm cussing up my driver because oh. I don't like yeah, to be late. Yeah, you were late. Ah, then you were late yeah, on man. us, man. He actually was yeah, late. I was that's late. why he ended up having yo, a I was, if he would have been on time. Yeah, I was cussing like, whoa. I was like, yo, the Breakfast Club, yo, come on, man. This now, is like big deal. There is one rumor that we do have to clear up uh -oh. since you're up here. <laughs> what is this Mr. now? Because it was the Mr. Vegas gay rumor that I had read about a few different times, but I would like just for you to just, you know, clear it up. Listen to me, I'm a straight gal. You see my record? Gal is straight, but I have nothing against gay people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But you have to understand, you know, when you're successful, mm -hmm. what can, what people going to try to tear you down? They've been trying to tear down people with that shit for years. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so do I listen to that? Does that break me? No. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I know what I do. I know who I love. You see what I'm saying? So if you listen to what people say, you're going to get teared down. You That's see what I'm saying? But all successful black men are either gay or in the Illuminati. But you see, if 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 you grow up a certain way and, and, and you, you try to speak properly, you see what I'm saying? And you mm -hmm. do things a certain way. People are going to think, oh, he's a bad boy like that. And if a man, if mm -hmm. someone beg you something, you know, and he's not a, you're not a person who does a handout. And then you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. You, you see what I'm hide, saying? You couldn't hide that where you from, though, no? if they knew. Oh, yes. Listen, there's definitely uh, gay people in jail. Like, hold on, hold on. A lot of the people that call people gay are gay themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> if someone yeah. just all the time saying, oh, Batman, 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 oh, he's a gay dad, he's gay, that person is in the closet. Mm. Trust me, because there is no They're gay so people don't trouble me. Right. Yeah, yeah, true. Gay people is not coming in my way. Mm -hmm. So why am I gonna get up every day speaking about gay people? That's actually a good song. They're not coming gay in my way. Gay people don't trouble me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they're my yeah, problem. Yeah, if someone man. if some if, if every guy turns gay, I have all the women to myself. I'll be like Salomon. <laughs> Trust me. That's a hook. Body boy, don't trouble me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. Yeah, don't worry, man. No, no, but 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 you see the people who build those rumors too and and talk those. Mm -hmm. Check where they're at now. They're nowhere. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I you feel know? like you're talking about somebody specific or a couple of specific. There, there, are, few, there are people who try that with me. Bunty killer. You know, you try the same thing with being the man. Being the man is still touring. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They try that to me. I'm still touring. I'm still making records. I'm still feeding my kids. Mm -hmm. I got seven kids. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, so I, and I'm taking care of them. when you run into them? Is it a confrontation? Like No, because you don't, are you going to let, you know, those stupid people, you know, you know, make you end up with Vibes Cartel is? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? What are you going to do? Someone call you a batty boy, you're going to take a gun and go kill that person. You're going to go to prison. Right. That's right. You are see you what I'm saying? Are you surprised that Vibes Cartel ended up having to go to jail? Yo, Cartel know what he's doing, man. Maybe, maybe he has something planned down the road. You see what I'm saying? Maybe he, he has a reason why <laughs> he put himself in that situation. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wish him the best. I wish... You know, he's a very good artist. Because I feel like in Jamaica, you know, I know if the government is cool with you and they down with you, I feel like a lot of times people can get away with stuff in Jamaica. Corruption is everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. Corruption is right here in the United States. Absolutely. Corruption is everywhere, everywhere. Africa, everywhere you, corruption is. So Jamaica is no different, you know. You know, people is who you know and who right. can get you out of situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. All right. Well, it's The Breakfast Club. It's Mr. Vegas. Blah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.